Hey crafty family, it is me and today I am so 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 excited so excited I'm gonna try to stay calm just stay everybody stay calm nothing to see here <sighs> Okay, so This lady Deb that I've been talking to um, <laughs> She had contacted me uh, and we were talking about I don't know if I should say it or just show you guys. I'm just going to show you because first I'm going to show you, then I'll, then I'll say. She sent me something in the mail and I'm going to kill her. I'm going to have to kill her. Oh my goodness. Are you ready? Are you ready? Can you believe this? Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. She sent me the Distress Oxides and the Reinkers, which, what did I do with them? Oh crap, they're on my desk over there because I was too excited. <laughs> so I came over with these because I was so excited. Anyway, she had emailed me. We started talking because she asked me if I had these inks and I said no. Um, and she was asking me all kinds of questions about them and I said, well, unfortunately I don't have them so I don't know. I said, but I can give you a bunch of links to videos. Excuse me, I'm burping again. Um, you know, I told her I'd send her links to videos that are helpful that I've that I've watched. You know, showing how to use them and stuff. So I did send her links. Where is this opening weird? No, where's my scissors? Enough is enough. Um, so she came back to me a couple days later and said, "Oh, thanks for the videos. I watched them." She's like, I really wish that you, you would do, you could do a video on these. I said, well, you know, I wish I could too, <laughs> but unfortunately I can't afford the ink, so blah, blah, blah. And she goes, oh, that sucks, blah, 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 blah. Well, then literally days later, I get this in the mail and with a note that's from her that said that she was annoyed that everybody that she watched play with them wasn't me. <laughs> Which I thought was funny. So she wanted to see me play with them. So she says that she selfishly bought them for me for her own purpose. <laughs> I said, that's not selfish. I don't mind. You could be selfish all you want, girl. Just be selfish. Because I don't mind. Because I'm so happy right now. I am so excited. I was tired too of seeing everybody else but me play with these, <laughs> to be honest. I must have watched like 500 videos on playing with these. So without further ado, let's cut these puppies open and play with them. Thank you so much, Deb. You are a doll for sending me these. And so of course I have to do a video playing with these because if I don't, Deb will hunt me down. Because that's the only reason she got these from me. Is so she could get a video out of me. <laughs> oh, that cracked me up. But she says that she selfishly bought these for me. Just so I would do a video on how to use them. Um, yeah, that's funny. I'm just so excited. I can't open them fast enough. I don't know... Um, much about how to use them other than to do layers with them so we're going to start with that and then i'll have to brush up on some videos which i didn't do and i probably should have because i forgot some of the other techniques um i've seen several but i was so excited that i just wanted to sit down and play with it that i forgot the other things that she put in the package like well she didn't put it i think she got sent these from somewhere or no actually they came from her i think um either way uh the um the re-anchors and the card that she sent. Yeah. Sorry. I'm too busy following orders. <laughs> she wants a video. She gets a video. I'm sure I'll do several videos. We'll start off with doing... Um, ow. That hurt my finger. We'll start off with doing what... A lot of people do with these suckers. Let's do. Let's start out with like three colors. Maybe not that. Maybe these colors. Let's start out with these colors. Let's see. Our cardstock here. Let me cut some cardstock in half so that I'm not trying to do these huge pieces. Let's start with that. Let's start 
with that. And I also got some glossy cardstock, so we can try that. Because I don't remember if I saw anybody use glossy card cardstock with the distress inks. I don't. I just don't remember. Either way, I'm sure somebody has, obviously. But I want to play with it and give it a try. Okay, we'll do the regular cardstock first. Um, and we'll do these three colors and then we'll layer a whole bunch of other colors and just see what else we can do. So I think this glass, oh wait a minute. See, I'm remembering, somebody told me, somebody didn't tell me, um, I saw it in a video. <laughs> somebody told me, translated from I saw it in a video, which is what really happened. I saw in a video, somebody said that don't do it on a glass mat because it'll just beat up and it won't give you better as good spreading. So thank you, Janet, for having given me this mat, which makes me happy because then I can do this properly. Okay, and then I also need to make sure that my water bottle, water bottle? What's a water bottle? A water bottle. I gotta make sure it's full. So, and it's not all the way full. So let's do that. Yeah, I'm really prepared, aren't I? Okay. Alright, so we've got our water bottle. Let's everybody calm down. I know it's an exciting day, but let's calm down. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Okay. Ah, oh, they smell good. Okay, let's do that color. I'm so thrilled to have the reinkers too. That's exciting because then I can sometimes just drip a reinker on. I don't even have to do the pad. And this, all right, that was the faded jeans. This is the cracked pistachio. And this is the fossilized amber. Okay. I think this is all of them. I didn't even pay attention. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think there was 12, right? That's exciting. Okay, so you squirt with water. And then you do your thing, right? So let's just do that and that and that. Ooh, pretty. And that and it turned like green because yellow and blue make green so that's exciting we'll do one glossy since I still got some good stuff here and one regular um, it beads up on there but let's see what, how it goes let's see what happens let's let's not give up on it just because it beads up it might end up being exciting you never know you don't know so it may beat up now We don't know what's going to happen. Okay, and then we'll take my book and we'll find a clean page and we'll mop up the little bit that's left on here. I'll just mop it. Whoa, don't go anywhere. Get back here. Whoa, come on now. Come on. Cut me up some slack here. Okay, so that cleaned that. I'll keep that steadily next to me. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. And I don't have the greatest cardstock, so it kind of seeped into that, which is fine because, you know, I I don't have the best cardstock on the planet. Actually, I do have better cardstock than this. I don't know why I'm using this because I do actually have better cardstock than this. Um, hold on a second. That's actually the crappy cardstock. Let me get good stuff. This should be better. This is a little thicker than that. Alright, my battery died. But you would think by now they would make batteries that were better suited for making videos with. Because, you know, I get that it's a regular digital camera, but a lot of people make videos with their digital cameras. So why would they have these batteries that last 30 minutes and that's it? Luckily, I have a couple batteries, but still, it's for restorating. I'll tell you. All right, let's try. Because I remember seeing some people say 
hiccups again. I either hiccup or I'm burping. One or the other. I'm just full of bodily functions today. Um, I remember people saying online that certain card stacks didn't work as well as others. This is probably one of them because it just kind of soaked into the paper. Um, and it really doesn't look attractive. But we're going to keep going with this. I'll use those for something else. But, but after that, we're going to use the regular cardstock that I have here. And then I've got this going on here, which doesn't look like much, but we're going to keep at it. So I'm going to dry this a little bit, and I might squirt some more water on it and see what happens. Okay, so since this is kind of crappy cardstock, it's like one step up from copy paper. And then this is the glossy. Let's do the same colors and do uh, the other cardstocks that we do all three at once and see how it reacts with different cardstocks. See how it uh, operates. All right, lids. Come on now. Can't be dropping every time I turn around. Okay, let's see what happens with that cardstock. These lids are a little bit harder to get off than of the uh, regular Distress inks, which I kind of like because the other ones just kind of fall off and these don't. So, like, you can go like that with these and they don't fall off, which is nice. They're a little bit of a pain to get off, but that's okay. All right, let's just try that and not over wet it. I'm going to dry it a little bit and then stick it back in the rest of that. Stuck a little water on there. And now I'm going to do some blotting. That gave me some little blot marks. Yeah, definitely you want decent cardstock. It doesn't have to be expensive cardstock, just decent cardstock. Because it uh, definitely makes a difference. Definitely makes a difference, people. Like this is able to get most everything up off the table, which is nice. Let's see, anything left on there, we're going to wipe up with this. So I don't even need a towel. Completely clean and look at that compared to this one see like it all soaked in there but then again I did split it between the two I kind of did some on there but regardless it still is much darker it wasn't that dark on the other one so either way three different looks okay good enough let's add another color let's add some of the pink and the purple and what did I just use Oh, I use those three. I'm gonna keep those separate. Pink and the purple, and let's do the broken china. Pink, purple, and broken china. No, you know what? Pink, purple, and the spiced marmalade for sure. Let's add those and see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. We'll do like one swipe for each card so we get e equal amounts this time on the thing. So that do the pink and I got that on there. Get off there. And the orange. Okay, where'd my water bottle go? There it is. Cool. So we're going to dry this a little bit just because it's very runny. I think what it is is once you get some color on there, it's easier to put more color on. So now I'm going to switch it around like this. And we're going to go like this. He, he, he. Cool. 
Yeah, it's definitely worth doing this because I'm just lightly spraying that again over there because I still got some more I could pick up. Not much, but a little bit. It's definitely coming along, that's for sure. Okay, we'll clean that up with the book and move on. Nice and clean. Okay, I'll set that aside and we'll do the same three colors again. This time, we'll do it on the crappy cardstock. This one here. that a little bit because it's very wet and even if it like it dries up on your mat if you walk away you can always just respray it and it'll reincorporate itself which is cool so we'll do some purple dry it in a little bit if I can get it to give me some splotches. Well, this just goes to show that even the crappy cardstock works fine after you get a layer or so on there. So really, it doesn't matter. You just need to get a layer going um, and it'll end up being fine. I guess once you get some ink on there, it starts to build up on it. So, Because honestly, it's starting to look just as good as this one did. And this is the better cardstock. And then the, I like the glossy one. The glossy one looks cool. So yeah, th these are coming out real nice. I'm going to spray this and get my book. And so technically we're doing four because we've got the book, which is picking up any leftover in here. And eventually that will be interesting to look at. Okay, we need to do those same colors once again. Let me see, I had the pink here. Nope. Like that. I'm trying to keep them in the similar order. Similar order. This is a lot of fun. I can't believe I'm, it's like a dream. I can't believe I'm finally getting to play with these. It's so exciting. I can't take it. So exciting. Okay, and we've got this one here which I want to do some purple here. I'm going to kind of go a little hog wild and just go in different spots and do all different stuff. Okay, I'm going to dry it a little bit. All right, let's get some more color on here. Alright. Alright. Let me get my book. Okay, so this is what we got so far. Ow. I just bopped myself in the nose with it. So this is the crappy cardstock, which is actually turning out really cool. 
This is the better cardstock. I wouldn't say this is like great cardstock, but it's Walmart cardstock. Better than this cardstock. And then there's the glossy cardstock, which actually looks really cool. They all look very cool. You don't get one that looks the same as the other. They kind of all look different. Let's go on to a third level. Le uh, third, yeah, color. Let's see, what do we got left? Let's add some, let's add these two, the peeled paint and the broken china. The darker colors, I want to do a separate thing with those. So I'm going to just do these and we might go back to, like, yeah, let's go back to add some, what color can we add? Let's add... Let's add some more faded jeans. So we'll do these through broken china, peeled paint, and faded jeans. We'll do those three. Just to add some more layers. Shiny cardstock. Let me dry this before I screw it up fun with the glossy cardstock to do some start to dry it and then pat it a little bit with the with the uh, with a towel or whatever Start. That looks really cool. Really cool. Let me take the water and the book. The book. Not much, but it's getting there. As you do it, it'll layer up. Clean this off. Okay. So there's the glossy cardstock. We might go back and do some dripping of water on there. Still feels nice and smooth. You would think it would feel different, but it still feels glossy, which is pretty cool. Alright, let's do this again with that color and the peeled paint. And the faded jeans. Alright. And we'll do the crappy one. some water on it and see. I try to get this thing to actually just drip water. And then let it sit a second and and see if we can get some lighter spots from where we dripped. I haven't done much of that. Let's see how it works. Let's patiently wait and see what happens. I think we can do it now. Ooh. Yeah. 
cool. Got some nice white spots. All right, let's add some more color. Let's do it. Let's dry it a little over here. water on it. Cool. That's looking really cool. Yeah, I really like that. Really digging it. Definitely digging that. Okay. Book. Some color. Slow and steady. Alright, and one more time for the better piece of cardstock. We just add all kinds of pretty color on there. Then we can make ATCs or some embellishments or use it as a piece for a card front would be pretty. Either way, it's like having fancy painted papers. Really pretty. Okay, very cool. I'm going to splotch this up a little. Maybe I'll try to get some. You know what I'm going to try to use? I don't know. Let's try to use this guy with some water. Um, I'll put a little water in here because I'll get more like water droplets with this than I will with that spray, which sprays a really fine mist and just wets everything. This will give me bigger droplets. And then I'll use the book while that's doing its thing. My leg is falling asleep. Of course it is. <laughs> of course my leg is falling asleep right now. I may have to get up and go walk around for a minute. Okay, let's take some of the water off of this. Ooh, very cool. So here we have all three done with those... I don't know how many colors we use. Six? Seven? I don't know, but we used a lot, and I think it's cool. I think they all came out really cool. Don't you think? All right, bear with me a minute. I need to go walk around because my legs sleep. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I stretched my legs and such. And also, 
Um, I got some other paper to play with. I brought some photo paper. I brought some Strathmore, what is this stuff called? I can now just see Strathmore 25% cotton. I don't know. This is some sort of paper that has a watermark on it that says Strathmore fiber, cotton fiber paper. I don't know. I figured we'd play with it. I got it from the Creative Reuse. Black cardstock. And then some labels. Let's have some fun, shall we? Let's start with the labels because I've seen people do a rust effect and I would love to do a rust effect and have it on labels that I can then run through the printer and put little things on like words or sayings or whatever. So let's do that. I think they used the walnut stain. Maybe it was it not fired brick, was it? Maybe. Maybe it was fired brick and then the orange one. The marmalade. Well, we're going to play around and see what happens. I know that it was the, the two browns. So let's start with those. Hopefully I don't ruin the stickers that are on here, but we're going to give it a try and see what we get. Got all the color there. So I'll clean this off and dry this real quick. Let's try the orange and the red and see what happens. Red might be too much, but who cares? Now oh, the red looks cool. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. more orange to it. Definitely needs more orange. I'm going to make a lot of orange. It's a big sheet. And
Now I'm going to add more of the vintage photo. droplets. Actually, I'm going to use this. Let that sit for a moment. Cool. Looks really cool. All right, now we can add some of this color to get some, um, like a uh, what do you call that? Yep, it's slipping my mind. Patina, that's it. Let me dry this a little bit. Okay. Back to this, the um, sticker sheet, the label sheet. I want to get some more concentrated color of this on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an acrylic block. And I'm going to put some color on there like so. Spray it like that. And then this concentrates it to like one area and then I can just basically get it all over the place and just put it on like that, which is another way you can do things so that it's kind of guaranteed to show up. See how now it's actually showing up and it's not getting lost, the color. I'm going to put some more because the color is light going over the dark colors of this. This is a better way to, uh, to apply it. But I do want some more of it showing. Let's do... 
little broken china to this mix. Between the two of them, they make a nice patina kind of finish. I'm using my hand to get any of the thicker areas. Oh yeah, that looks cool. That looks cool, yo. I'm digging it. And it doesn't that look cool? It kind of looks like it's got some patina. Maybe I'll do a little bit more. I'm just being particular and adding my color. That looks cool. Now it looks like rusted paper with patina. I'm going to dry it a little with the heat gun. That's cool looking. I love it. That's awesome. Okay, so that's done. You could do this. Obviously, you don't have to do it on sticker paper or labels. You could do it just on regular paper, but I wanted to make some labels. And I will run these through my printer and print out in black ink. Hopefully, I can print over top of them. Or you could just stamp a sentiment in each one of these or something and do it that way. But I'm going to attempt to print it and see if it'll actually print over the ink, which it should. When it's completely dry and I straighten it out, it should. I don't see any reason why it shouldn't because I don't have any th like thick, bumpy paint on there or anything. Okay, let's play with the photo paper. Let me cut it in half. Let's do some fun stuff on here, shall we? Shall we? Let's do some... Let's do some of this broken china and the cracked pistachio. Let's start with those. photo paper is when you get it wet it gets like sticky until you dry it so let's dry it all right let me wet this a little bit and I'll mop it up with the book Amber. Right, let's add some purple and pink to the mix.
looks cool. Really cool. With photo paper, it gets sticky when you add the ink to it. Um, but, you know, it works great. I mean, it makes really cool effects. However, you just need to dry it, you know, a little bit more with the heat gun. And then also don't, you know, you don't want to hold the heat gun on it for too long. You want to keep it moving. Um, you know, it's not like regular paper. Um, so yeah, let me mop up, mop up a little. It'll, it'll kind of remove some color. I'll just mop up some of the sticky. See if you rubbed. Sorry, my camera shut off. Battery died again. Um, so yeah, so that's cool. It looks really neat when you do photo paper. I enjoy it. Um, let me put that aside for now. And let's do some of this paper. This, what was it called again? Strathmore 25% cotton fiber. So other than that, I thought it was like a rice paper, but it's not. I want to try it though and see what it looks like. So I'm just going to cut off a section of it to use. I get a lot of these weird papers at the Creative Reuse, which I enjoy trying new papers with new things. You could probably see the watermark on it, but hopefully it'll get covered up. Um, let's see. Let's do the faded jeans. Oh, we haven't done the fired brick yet. We'll do these two to start off with. cool on there. I like that. I still have a lot on there too. I don't know if you could see it because of the way I have this sitting, but that comes out really nice and dark on this paper. We'll do more of it. Why not? I'll just do it the opposite with most of the red over the blue and most of the blue over the red like that. And then I'll take the book and get it this. Okay. So I haven't used any of the iced spruce yet. So we'll try this one. It doesn't even look like it's on there, but it's on there. And then we'll do that in the broken china. And see how they work out. Definitely looks cool. I really like that. Let's see. What other color can we throw on there? Let's see what happens. Let's try some of the purple. We'll just do purple. Groovy. I don't know how much it shows up on camera, but the colors look really cool. I'm going to try a little bit of water. I 
and we'll see what happens. We'll let it sit for a moment and then we'll mop it up. I can already see something happening. You can even dry it a little. Okay, let's mop it and see. Cool. Now I gave it spots. I think that looks cool just the way it is. That's pretty neat. So that paper does that. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of groovy. I kind of like it. Last but not least, let's try black paper. Let me cut this in half. Um, let's see. Let's cut this in half and see what we get out of it. See what kind of magic we can get out of it. Okay. Let's see. I've seen people do like galaxies, but they use like the they didn't use and I didn't see them do it with black paper. I saw them do it with white paper and they would just use the dark colors as the outside of the galaxy, but I bet you you can get like a galaxy look with using a black piece of paper maybe. Hmm, let's try it. Let's use some colors that might be that of galaxy and we'll do it like in the center area pink and purple are good colors like that I don't know if we can do it without having a darker color on the outside but we can try and there's still color on there, so I'll just keep picking it up. It might not work, but hmm, worth trying. Let's do some of this color. Because they were doing it with white paper and, and like going over around the outside with dark colors. Um... So, I'm not sure if this will work this way because I'm kind of doing the opposite, starting with the dark color. Try that again, add some more. <clears throat> Let's do some more pink. I wonder if I took one of these suckers and some white ink. We're just experimenting. We are experimenting. Whoa, and dropping things on the floor. Experimenting and dropping. There it is. That's what we do. We're going to take white ink and we're going to... Kind of, you know what I'm talking about, that um, cloudy kind of smoky feeling that's around like a nebula or whatever. I'm doing that with the white ink to kind of mimic that. I'm trying to anyway.
I think that looks pretty cool, actually. That is not bad, if I do say so myself. I think that kind of looks like a nebula-esque gal galaxy. Now we just need some white stars splattered on it. I might even, you can even take some black and like go around the outside a little bit to even darken it on parts. So it can like to really give it a Yeah, that looks really cool, actually. Let's put that with that and that with that. Let me clean off my mess here. Hmm, I'll put it in the book. Black speckles never hurt anybody. And now we'll take some white paint and do some splatters. I got my apparatus. I just need to find some white paint. <laughs> what do I do with the white paint? I think it's under here. Let me see. I found it. Okay. Cool. Got splatters all over the place, but I don't care. It's cool. It's even got this there, which kind of looks like a some sort of odd comet thing. I don't know. All right, let me put that aside a second and clean up my mess, and then I can show you all the ones that I made today. This has been exciting and fun. So I did several different types of paper. And that's just the beginning. As we go, we're going to play with lots of different types of paper and do lots of different types of things. Okay, so I'll show you what we started with. We started with these three here. This was photo paper, and these are one, one of these is, I think this one was like a crappy cardstock, and this one was a better quality cardstock. Either way, they all look really cool. I really like this one, how this one came out was really cool. Alright. And what's cool about it is, I noticed this earlier, if you take a damp, very, very just damp cloth and go over it on the glossy cardstock, it'll like magically get darker. Isn't that neat? So it's, I mean, I'm talking like just damp. It's not wet. It's just barely damp. You don't want it to be like wet, wet. But you just take it and go over it and it gets brighter, like darker, not as muted. So that's something cool that you can do. 
You can only do it on glossy cardstock, though. Isn't that cool? It went from being muted to, like, bright. Really cool. Very interesting. Um, then we did this. Or maybe we did these other things first. Oh, I think we did these first. No, we did this first. That's right, because these are those other papers. This is the labels, which looks really awesome. And then we did these, which this one is that weird cotton paper, and this one's some photo paper. I don't think that technique will work with photo paper, but I could try it. I haven't... Uh, not really. It wants to take off the, the ink altogether. But glossy cardstock, you can rub it with some a damp cloth. But these are already bright enough. It was on this that it was a little muted, and then when you rub it, it got brighter. So anyway, lots of fun pages and papers. Lots of yummy, yummy color on these pages. Definitely digging these. Definitely digging these. And then, last but not least, our kind of galaxy thing, which looks cool. I'm loving that too. So yeah, I had fun. I'm so happy to have these. Thank you so much, Deb, for sending these to me. You are awesome, and I'm so excited to have them, and I can't wait to play with them some more. I might do some more experimenting tonight with them um, and play around and see what happens. And, you know, I'm probably going to be playing with these a lot. So, yeah, I'm very excited. Um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and will give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. And if you don't mind, hit the bell little icon um, next to the subscribe button and that will let you know when I get... It will send a, an email to you every time I go live and every time I have a new video so you don't miss anything because you don't want to miss the live streams. Live streams are a lot of fun. And so you don't want to miss those. So getting a notification is the best way. Also, I will put the link to my group. I have a Facebook group. And that'll, that'll be in the description box. Um, and uh, in my Facebook group, you can find all kinds of really, really sweet people that hang out and chill out and share their artwork. And they share their mixed media mashup um, artwork, which we do every Monday. Except for obviously today because... Um, we didn't do it today because I had so many things to do and then I was by the time I was getting finished and then I got this package and I hadn't opened it and then I came over here and opened it and then of course I had to play with it and yeah so we didn't do mixed media mashup today but we are doing it tomorrow that's Tuesday which this video is probably gonna go up on Tuesday so we are doing mixed media mashup at 9 p.m. what do we do it usually at 9 p.m. or 9 30 I don't remember but it's either 9 or 9 30 um, and so that'll be a lot of fun. That'll be a live stream. Make sure you come and hang out and participate because we have a blast. The link for our, the group will be in the description. And as always, make sure you do what you love and love what you do and be nice to people. And I will see you again soon. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Talk to you later.